Hi guys, I'm Shmi, and this video marks the start of my mega road trip around Europe. I'm setting off for two months, 60 days, traveling around with my cars on some of the best roads in Europe, visiting some amazing places and events. And today is going to kick us off with loading up the cars to head to Germany. So the FF, the GT4, and the 675 LT Spider are going to be going with by right transport across to Germany to the Nürburgring, where I am then going to be driving in the Mini. So I'm going to be driving today, or tomorrow for me, because we're loading in the evening, but today for you guys in this video, to the Nürburgring, 350 miles in my classic Mini. The same Mini that kind of broke down on me the other day. Um, so yeah, this is going to be an adventure and a half. I hope it's all going to work out fine, but we're just going to go with trial and experimentation here and see if I can get there, where I'll hopefully be catching up with Boosted Boris at the other end um, at Ring Garage. So, the journey in the Mini is about to commence, but first, we've got to get loading. So let's take, I think first up, the GT4 out to the truck. In goes the GT4, that's going first up to the back. Probably the, well, hardest car to load, because the front is so low you need to use various pieces of wood to get it in. Um, but the GT4's in, so we will now head to pick up the McLaren next. Um, that's going to be the next one in. GT4's tucked in, and now it is McLaren time. Number three. This is pretty surreal. The Ferrari, the McLaren, and the Porsche are all on the truck. And I'm now going to go and get my bags packed before it's time for the mini adventure. And when we get there to Ring Garage in Germany, we'll be unloading them all, hopefully in nice weather, in daylight at least. But yeah, it's mini time. Well, I think I've had my sign, and probably everybody's screaming, I could have told you that was going to happen. I told you so. Um, I came down to the Mini, brought down my bags, found it parked amusingly next to this bear moth of a pickup truck, jumped in, tried to start it up, started firing, and then pff, off. Jumped out to have a look what the problem was, came around to the front, and most of it's dried up, but I think the radiator or something has basically dumped out underneath. Um, there was a massive puddle all the way up to here when it happened. It's just dried up pretty quickly in here and the engine won't run and I'm not going to push it any further. That is literally the end of the mini adventure. I got zero meters out of 350 miles. I didn't even move from the parking spot. That's not a successful mini adventure. So that chap's going to be staying here. I've now got to decide if I'm going to go in the Focus RS, which I would then need to drive back to England in a couple of days to then take back to Germany again, because I've got to come back and take some stuff with me ready for the tour, the later parts of the tour. Or do I scrap this plan and just go and get a flight this afternoon over to Cologne and then a lift to the Nürburgring? And I suspect it's going to be the latter. Um, I'm a bit sad, really, because I was very, very much looking forward to taking the Mini to Germany on a road trip. Um, but Sod's Law has literally done its thing. Um, this is the sign, the I told you so sign give up on my failed adventure. So I'm sorry not to be sharing a journey in the Mini with you. I'll come back and try and get this looked at when I come back home. Um, yeah, sad times really, sad times. Well, I decided to fly and here we are now in Cologne at Cologne Airport in Germany where the guys with the truck have literally just unloaded the FF for me so that I can drive that from here to the Nürburgring. Brilliant service, very nice of them. They're now going to take the GT4 and the 675LT to the ring and we will catch up with them there. I, however, have an autobahn journey in the FF now. I will need to go and put some fuel in it. Um, but yeah, this is the kind of time where having that PPF on it is going to make a big difference. Truck's off. I'm probably going to overtake them at some point too. But time to get in the FF. Sorry, massive camera swinging right here. I'm buzzing and pleased to have made it to Germany with a car, if not the car I intended today. So yeah, let's jump in and um, get on the road to the ring. How cool is this then? By right, pulling a blinder as always. 
rocking up to the airport, driving away. When I did this, and they brought my cars back from Monaco before with Mr. JWW, we landed at Gatwick, the cars were right there. It was amazing. And uh, yet again, we're straight out of the airport, straight in a car, so big thanks to them because this is just absolutely brilliant. I'm now gonna hit the autobahns. Well, this is convenient. Basically straight on. Let's go. Before I even actually got any autobahn stretches, it started raining and there is traffic. And this is the first time I've driven this car on the road since it was detailed and paint protection filmed, which is spectacularly not cool. I was really looking forward to a nice, glorious, sunny afternoon drive to the Nürburgring. Alas, today that was not meant to be. So we will cruise in the rain. Um, hopefully it will all clean off. In fact, I can actually see the water beading quite nicely all over the place. Um, so it will clean up quite nicely afterwards too. Um, yeah, just not quite what I intended. Well, at least the rain has stopped, which means we've got a nice sort of clean run in towards Kelberg, the town that I'm heading to, which means I can make a little bit of noise. In fact, maybe I should pop the window down just a touch so that we can hear the V12. Oh yeah. Now until today, the FF, or until yesterday, the FF hadn't actually been at my place, so I haven't driven it at all for a couple of weeks. And it's nice to have it back, that's for sure. This car, I swear they're just, there's nothing else that can be this fun, this luxurious, four seats, but still this sort of sporty and entertaining to drive while being comfortable and practical. I don't know if that combination exists, but on the roads around here, where I get to do a bit more of that, it's just paradise. I love this thing. at Ring Garage. Now I haven't overtaken the truck because I did a fuel stop and there was a lot of traffic so there were no clear autobahn runs so hopefully it's going to be here just in front of me. I've visited Ring Garage a few times before and we're going to be catching up with Boosted Boris who you've probably watched before. A very inappropriate gentleman but one who is quite funny in the way he goes about things so we're going to be catching up with Boris and doing a few collabs in the coming sort of part of this trip but let me pull in now to Ring Garage, where the cars are going to be. Oh no, we have beaten the truck. Wonderful. So, we are here. I've moved the car and we're joined by Boris. Hello, comrades. So, Hello. you're finally here. You moved this I'm car, here. but you were supposed to move another car. I was. What happened to the Schmini? A smaller car. The smaller car got replaced with a much bigger car. Why? I uh, heard rumors that it shat itself because it hurts. <laughs> we're going on an Evercring with it. Yeah, I think the little thing got a bit scared. Well, it, it didn't... It was rather worried about what we'd do to it. Well, you didn't learn properly what I taught you, did you? What I did told you... Teach you me? Yeah. Because, I really didn't learn. <laughs> because cars are like girls, and if they get excited, they can become a bit wet. <laughs> so awkward. Anyway... <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for you, so I got here a uh, look. Suspicious liquid. Yeah, suspicious liquid. And two potatoes. One for you and one for me. But this is probably for later. Um, <laughs> so you're, you're bringing cars, right? Yeah, and we're bringing... Um, <laughs> we've got to go car. drive this at some point. Okay, I'm not sure if it's appropriate time, but probably is. I mentioned to you in our previous conversations that I have a surprise for you, right? Yeah. You want to receive it now? Oh gosh, yeah, okay, go on. Cameras, go on. you want to receive... Okay, so... <laughs> stand here. Yeah. Okay, stand here. Facing. Uh, facing, face there, camera, yeah, like that. That okay. way, in the sunshine. Am I looking backwards or am I just standing? I'll just stand like this and you're going to appear and... Uh, so, this is the, the, the first part of surprise. Give me your hand. Screwdriver? Yes. Does that mean I have to fix something? Yeah, maybe your mini, <laughs> but... Um, I can probably fix it with that, you know? Yeah, maybe. Okay, so now the big part of the surprise. And he really doesn't know about it before you think, oh, you staged it. No. <laughs> so, um, close your eyes because I don't want you to see it. Okay. Something. Yeah. Okay. I hope you eyes, have your eyes. eyes are closed. Eyes okay. are closed. No, wait. Uh oh. What's he gonna do? <laughs> well.
Welcome to. Can I? Can I? To Schmie Garage. Hey! <laughs> but I have to put it on the wall. Yes, over there. Oh, sweet! Schmie Garage. <laughs> we can definitely put that up. I nice. Really like it. Nice surprise. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's cool. Let me let me make sure we got this angle of boosted Boris holding the Shmi logo. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Right. So we're gonna, I guess, put that up. And I didn't know about that. That's awesome. Yes. And uh, because we can park the LT or whatever car there behind. On the, the toy car mat, and you've yes. got in there, we can play with toy cars. Yes. I should have brought the baby little ones. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but so we'll put this up, and then the truck's coming too, and we'll put yeah. the cars in. Yes. Sweet. Sweet, like nice. the sweet potato that I. Yeah, like the potatoes. And that's for that's for later. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. I'll get the ladder. Come on, Boris. How hard can it be? To put something inside something. <laughs> Depends how drunk you are. <laughs> And the truck arrives. In we go. Can't wait to get the cars out here in Germany. You know, it's like undressing a girl, but then two of them. At the same time. Lovely. Well, I like, I approve. German soil. Nice. I've literally just put the McLaren inside the window. Um, if I zoom in from here, under the Schmie logo, right there. And now we're taking the GT4 off. So slow and steady process because it is so low as we discovered loading it last night. When the GT4 is off, I don't know, maybe we'll do something with all the cars. We will basically just see what is what. GT4 is off too. The cars are all inside, not necessarily parked up. Desperately tied, Because you can said. still bicycle through here, so it's kind of clear. There's enough space, just keep it over near your cars, yeah? Okay. Away from mine. Like, like a Russian bear in a circus. <laughs> I don't even know what that's like, but okay. Um, yes, I was saying, the cars, they're all parked in here at the moment. The LT Spider um, parked right at the front behind the glass window which if we pop outside is actually kind of fun because the window's right underneath the Schmie sign. And like I told you earlier, cars are like girls and you have girls behind windows sometimes, so particularly in Amsterdam. But you do, and that's a very pretty girl behind a window. Yeah, how much are you asking, baby? <laughs> yeah, not cheap day rate, that's for sure. Maybe I can feed the drunk. We have here, potato. But we'll give it for later. Yeah, for Same later. <laughs> back, to where, back to where I was. So the cars, the cars are in here, we're going to move them around. Um, but I want to touch on a topic I'm sure a few of you are going to ask me about, which is, can you come down and see the cars and am I going to be here? Um, basically, I can't guarantee I'm going to be here at any point because I am off traveling to other countries, filming videos, shooting stuff, so I'm actually not around that often. Um, <laughs> no words. <laughs> You might be able to come down, look through the windows. If the office is open, you might be able to come in and have a look um, at the cars and what's going on. Obviously, Ring Garage have cars available for rent, for ring days as well, for Tourist and Farton. Don't try and come down during Tourist and Farton. It's going to be busy and it's not possible to really see anything. Um, well, maybe it is, but don't get offended if I don't have time to welcome you. But don't. Yeah. Basically, basically that, basically that. If you do come down, take any pictures, please do tag myself, of course. Also tag Mr. Boris. Also tag Ring Garage, where we are, um, and yeah, I'm going to be at the Sport Science track day, by the way. We'll have more information about it tomorrow, because yes. we are yes. doing more, some... More info on... Giveaway! Yeah, more info on that tomorrow. Um, and in due course on social media for what's going on. But I'm quite pleased to have the cars here, it's cool, you've got three English cars raiding your garage right now. No, it's German, Italian and English. Yeah, but they're British registered. Okay, they're kind of refugees. I killed that. We're re they're refugees, they're refugees. High five. High five. That, Boris. <laughs> no, that's, they can see it. They see yeah. it. Okay, high five comrades. <laughs> the comrades. Boris and the comrades. Right, um... And the citizens. And the 
He actually dropped that. Schmeetisms. Do you like the name Schmeetisms? And if it gets 100 likes, then... (laughs) Have we gone too far? Shall I make a comment about that? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe I've forgotten by now to make the comment. We'll see. You'll see. Um, Yeah, I'm going to wrap it up End of time. We're here in Germany. We're going for dinner. I'll get this video up. Lots and lots and lots of fun stuff ahead. Um, All the cars, track days, events, fun stuff, collaborations. Trip to Russia picking up ladder. Oh, I said too much. (laughs) Not supposed to drop that hint yet. Um, Lots of things ahead. So do stay tuned. Check it all out. And we'll be shooting some cool stuff. That's it for now, though, guys. We'll catch up with you again later. Cheers.